Yes, you mentioned the word change, and I, when I bought your book, I mean, that was the question I have. I mean, we've been hearing change from Obama. If you could confront Mr. Obama tomorrow, how would you pin him down when he uses that word change? Well, I, I probably wouldn't do it directly as much as I would go to his supporter if I, if I was addressing supporters of the audience. That um, ch change means nothing. It's just the word, and it's a cliché. And just to repeat it has no meaning. You have to say, what are you going to change? And I would argue, you offer no change. You have the same foreign policy. You want more troops in Afghanistan. You're not talking about only going to war with a declaration. You don't want to deal with the monetary financial crisis in this country. You want to keep, you know, the system together for the benefit of the banks and the big corporations and the politicians, you know, that argument. And what kind of change do you have on social policy? Do you care about sick people using marijuana? I mean, have you come out for that? You know, and I would just hit him hard on the fact that he doesn't want change. He wants the status quo. And uh, just saying it means nothing, but he has a lot of supporters. And the one time I was asked about to comment about him, I actually tried to be, you know, fairly soft on him, but concluded that we have a lot of differences. But I, I, I tried to acknowledge that his supporters and my supporters have a lot of overlap, and they do. So in, in declaring what I just said, I think it has to be done in somewhat of a diplomatic manner uh, and, and then to appeal to reason and say, look, if you want change, what you need is somebody that's going to make sure you're never going to have a draft and that we're going to bring our troops on, we're going to balance the budget, we're going to have sound money. He never talks about any of that. <laughs> well, no, he'll be, he probably doesn't have real solid beliefs. He will be converted when we convert his young people. That's what will convert. The, the, pol the, politicians in Washington, the politicians in Washington don't have much philosophy, probably never will, but that's all right. That's why we have a chance by converting people's hearts and minds, and that's where we've made our progress.